thank you, Sophie, for meeting with me today. I really appreciate it. Do you have a specific intention in mind that you would like this session to be focused on, or do you just want to see where spirit leads us today? Spirit lead us, please. All right, perfect. Let's place our feet firmly on the ground, feeling that connection with Mother Earth. Imagine a grounding cord coming out of the base of your spine, going all the way down to Mother Earth, to her crystalline core. Imagine the cosmic energy coming in from above, down your back, up your front, down your arms, your wrists, your hands, your fingertips. That cosmic energy coming from within and going out the top of your head, filtering all around your energetic body, bringing forth the ancient rose, the intention rose, and move that intention rose all around your energetic body. Move that all around, collecting any low vibrational or any outdated beliefs or energies that are no longer supporting you. Let that rose just collect all of that energy. And when you feel ready, give that rose to source. Setting the intention to support whatever it is in Sophie's best interest today. And Sophie, in your space and in this session, let us invite in and work with only the highest possible vibrational frequencies of divine source of love and light. Thank you. Sophie, I just want to mention I do have a small pill on my lap. I will share what I'm sensing and feeling. I can feel a lot within my, within my hands. I am also shown within my mind's eye, and I can hear and I can feel the sensation that spirit is wanting to convey with me to share with you. Anything I share with you is never meant to replace a medical or mental health diagnosis truly where the energy is going. Setting the intention to support whatever it is in Sophie's best interest today. And Sophie, as you're doing that, I can feel a pulsing sensation on your back and the upper chest and back area is creating some space here. We're gonna be channeling just a few moments here with the sound healing. Continue to bring in that breath, but now bring it in from heart center, up through the neck and out the back of the neck as you feel so guided while we channel these energies. Thank you. Please take a nice, gentle, cleansing breath here. I know that we are, for this session here today, I also need to under explain that I'm fully present as we're communicating and that I'm taking a gentle step back, a source is taking a step forward. So again, allowing divine source of love and light to use my voice to express in another way that you can receive the information. So there's a lot of heat. There's a lot of heat now as I look at you and I feel into my hands. There's a lot of heat that's coming off the base of your neck and it's also on the back of my neck as well. Lots and lots of heat. Now what this feels like to me is a lot of excess energy just shift, shifting out and filtering off out. I'm feeling an increased band of tension at the base of your neck and going into the right shoulder. Now, I don't know if you are having any tension. We all, especially as women, we all tend to carry a lot of uh, tension in our shoulders. This is not an unusual uh, unusual thing, but I just want to acknowledge that, especially right now, they want to acknowledge your right shoulder and it's coming from the neck. It's going out towards the top of your right shoulders, also connected with your low abdominal area. Now, I don't know if you have had any type of a, um, I'm just getting the sensation of a, uh, whether mm, you fell on the base of your spine, perhaps uh, like, for example, ice skating, where you fall, you fall on the ice. Or if this is a, I feel that this is a injury of some sort that's coming from the base of your spine. Now, again, not a medical diagnosis, but they're just showing me an impact of sorts, the base of your spine. And I'm also feeling that the connective tissue, the fascia, the tissues at the, at the low abdominal area, as they're shifting, there's a big connection here with your right shoulder. So now your right shoulder as I look at you, and I'm just going to ask you really quickly, I'm going to unmute you, Sophie, does this make any sense to you? Uh, yes, I, I did fall roller skating when I was okay. in my early 20s. Okay, thank you. Does the right shoulder make any sense to you? It's okay if the answer is no. They're just showing that right shoulder to me. I actually woke up with a headache this morning from my neck on the right side. 
Okay, thank you for validating that for me. So what they're sharing with me, and I'm getting a lot of tingling in the right side of my head here, this is also an acknowledgement for, from Spirit that this is, interestingly enough, you mentioned the headache. Um, uh, they're showing me what this feels like is this acknowledgement of what we were discussing, but what, what we are now, what is now happening is that there, with this energetic component that's linked to this fall, linked to your shoulder, and linked up to, into this headache as a factor, again, not a medical diagnosis, um, it, it, I'm feeling a shift, like a little bit of a tingling shift within the upper uh, right side of my head here. All right, I'm now going to be guided towards your head. You mentioned the headache, so now I just feel compelled. I want to go there right now. They're just just being guided there, especially since the my hand is super sweaty and I was bent on the back of your head here. Uh, as I connect with your forehead, the forehead is starting to glide towards your left and the back of your head is starting to glide towards your right. And as some energetic releases here. So please bring in, ooh, it's getting so warm in here. Uh, please bring in a uh, white light, white and gold from source. Bring that into your third eye and move that please. Just bring that in and move it how you feel guided. They're working on moving and shifting. Um, this is craniosacral therapy they're bringing forward. They're helping to uh, clear, cleanse these cerebral spinal fluid. Uh, tapping into this old injury, there's just an energetic component that they're, they're clearing and filtering out there for you. Okay, beautiful. Now as they look at you, your low abdominal area start to rotate in a clockwise direction. And the back of your neck is starting to glide. Oh goodness, I'm getting some grief and sorrow. So just a moment, please. We have a little grief and sorrow in this area. Nice, gentle cleansing breaths here, please. Low abdominal area, the back of your neck. And Sophie, if you are no, if you are noticing any grief and sorrow that's that's within your abdominal area, please honor that. And if you don't, just send lots of love to the energy that's expressing here within your low abdominal area. They're working on moving and shifting. Um, this is craniosacral therapy they're bringing forward. They're helping to uh, clear, just bathing and bring that all the way up to the back of your neck. They're bringing forth ancient language. So when I feel into this, it may not necessarily sound, I don't know what Hebrew language sounds like, but I feel the energy of Hebrew language here. This feels very ancient. This feels very old. And I'm not, it is just a, um, what I'm brought to is I'm being brought to the writings during the Christ consciousness, during Jesus' time here. But they're bringing me this feeling, this sense of being connected with, uh, being connected with, the, with Jesus at the time uh, when he was here. And they're showing me, uh, they're showing me you being part of, I don't, I, I don't necessarily know that you were a close personal friend. I don't know that. They're not showing me that. The important thing they're showing me is that you helped in your, you would feel at that time in your small way, and it wasn't small, but you would felt in your time, in your small way, you were helping to communicate. And they're showing me that you were helping to spread the word quietly within your little town, your little, your community, your, your, the blocks. They're showing me the little, like little, um, little structures that are next to each other like they would be right and, and that you were very instrumental in communicating this these messages uh to your your little communities i want you to imagine that you have bring that red rose forward please and I'd like you to bring a red rose forward that and really work on that root chakra just really send the intention of the accident the roller skating incident i believe you mentioned in your 20s just send that energy into that rose directly just give that energy there Let's just get that shifted and moved with your power of intention. Mm, keep doing it, please. There's a, I, may, I want to burp, but it's just not coming out yet. So just continue to move that red rose to the base of your spine, all through your low abdominal area. Almost, please keep going. We're going to support this. I, may, I want to burp, but it's just not coming out yet. So just continue to move that red rose to the base of your spine, all through your low abdominal area. Almost, please keep going. We're gonna just support this. I'm feeling a lot of heat coming off the back of my neck, under my armpits, behind my behind my back as you're shifting and moving this. Okay, good. 
lots of little ones coming out here. Go ahead and send that red rose to source energy who will accept those energies and transmute those. Let's bring forth a beautiful, beautiful green healing energy from Mother Earth's core and bring that into the base of your spine, please. Really feeling grounded and connected with Mother Earth's core. Bringing forth and bring that grounding cord all the way down to Mother Earth. Really feel that groundedness with her. Sending our love and appreciation to Mother Earth. Our love and appreciation to divine source of love and light to one another and to the one, to the all, to the connectedness. Please remember, you are fully supported. You are fully protected and you are fully loved. It has been an honor working with you today. Thank you so much. Love and blessings. Bye-bye.